and welcome to Ozarks Live. Thank you so much for joining us. Look who's here. The Hi. effervescent. Hi. Yes, Kim Lorenz. It's so good Macadoos. to be back. It's good to have you back. All of, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you. you. Know it seems that. like it's been a long, a long time. It, it's been a little bit of time, but yeah. you know, in that last time, you seemed to like every couple of days you had to come by and say. <laughs> hey, Hi. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah I like me that too. So we always have fun. That yes, is, we that's do. Great. It's are good you, to be here. Are you staying warm? Um, you know, I'm not a winter person. Nor am I. It like it physically makes me angry so I I get it I, I you will never hear me complain about being too hot ever 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 but so yeah I'm staying warm and I'm trying to suck it up and just deal with it complain all you want because <laughs> you have a sympathetic and empathetic uh, person yeah, right I here just, and, and I mean we've talked about it on the show before if it if it gets below you know 50 degrees I'm not happy no I'm if not it either. gets below freezing I'm really not happy. Yeah, I, you know, I don't like big coats. I, do, I just, I don't like cold. I don't yeah. like cold. Well, the but. thing, the thing about winter though is you, you can in some ways dress more stylishly. It does give you some nice options. Yeah, But I'd you rather can. throw them away and just have a t-shirt, shorts, and, you and know, some flip-flops. Me too. Me too. Let yeah. me, I can't dig in the dirt in the winter. And you know, I love to garden. Uh, yeah, that's so, true. That's true. Yeah. You have to, you make a, a hot house. I'll tell my husband to get busy building that. Yeah. I'm going to tell him, you said so. I did not. I did. <laughs> I'm going to tell him, <laughs> okay. Tom said you got a project. <laughs> I'll never see the guy again. He will. Will oh, you will. He's going to come talk yes, to you about he it. Probably, He's going to say you're helping gonna me. going to have words <laughs> with me. Okay, yes. all right. Hey, Kristen Bergman from McDonald's sent us a McDelivery. Yeah, via Uber Eats, okay? Uber Eats of some great food today. Bacon Big Macs. See, look at this. Bacon Big Macs, bacon quarter pounder, Coca Cola, and something of a mystery. Uh huh. It's a new food source I've never seen before at McDonald's cheesy bacon fries. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, I know Tuesday was a special bacon day where McDonald's was giving away bacon left and right, but there was no note attached to the McDelivery, so we're left to wonder what. Does McDonald's have in store for us? Uh, no, is this a permanent thing? You know, here's here's my thought on the deal. Wow. All right, all you know, quarter pounder, Big Mac, and all that. They all have the the you know the different sleeves that say Big Mac and quarter. And right. You know what it is. Right. Those fries came in a box that says That's, cheesy bacon fries. Oh I don't God. think they're going to do that just for the heck of no, it. No, you're special, but I don't know if they're going to make a box for you. Yeah. That, wow. Yeah. So That's I'm cool. Thinking. Anyway, thank you, Kristen. Thank you, McDonald's, yeah. for that. All right. We have a great show in store for you today. Joy, she's not here, but she's visiting Bruce Porter at his book signing. Janet Parker. Yeah, she brings the latest from Krispy Kreme, and Kim will enthrall, entertain, and amuse with Macadoodle's fun. Okay? But before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. Valentine's Day is fast approaching, and nothing says love like a cockroach. Am I right? First thing that comes to my Absolutely. mind every time. Now, First thing. According oh. to USA Today, the Hemsley Conservation Center near London will let you name a cockroach <laughs> after your ex for a mere two bucks. I see the two bucks <laughs> flying to London already. To make it official, names will appear on a sign next to the zoo's cockroach enclosure. You will also receive a certificate that reads, I've named a cockroach at the Hemsley Conservation Center in the not so loving memory of my worthless ex. This little bit of sweet revenge will also get you a future visit to the zoo for half price. Oh my gosh! Tell me the downside here. That's that's there. Do you? Uh, that's priceless. Absolutely. I don't. I don't. Oh no, my gosh! No, it's only two bucks. <laughs> it's only two oh bucks. Oh my gosh! That's hilarious. I'm, I'm, come back after you've been uh, on your computer already sending your two dollars. Exactly. Come back to the show. Their website just crashed. <laughs> that's, that's about it. <laughs> yep, they oh, broke the fun. internet. Oh my gosh! Okay, here's a little better news. Still in time, you know, plenty of time for Valentine's Day. New M&M's flavors. Yeah, yep, yep. But the company is asking you to vote on your favorite. Oh, right, fun. Ready to hear the new flavors? Yeah. All right, here we go. 
English toffee peanut, Mexican jalapeno peanut, and Thai coconut peanut. And here's the deal. When you vote, you're entered into a contest to win a trip to all three countries that inspired the new flavors, Mexico, Thailand, and England. You can vote once a day until May 17th via the M&M's Flavor Vote website or a special text number, okay? The winner will be announced in August. Which would you pick? I don't care, just so I can get entered and travel to Mexico, Thailand, and England. That would be good. English toffee. I think it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I would I go with English I think I'd have to too. go English toffee. Although the jalapeno might be a nice little yeah, surprise it might. deal there. It might. They're going to all be good there. They M &M's. are. I know. I know. <laughs> all right. Now, here's something really cool. Kim, I, I, I think, you know, you're going to like this. There's an outfit in Boston that has, well, they have found kind of a unique way to make housing more affordable and bridge the generation gap at the same time. It's called Nesterly. All right, and it pairs older people with plenty of space with students who need housing they can actually afford. Well, that's a cool concept. All right, here's the Nesterly website. There are others out there, but this one is, is in Boston. In Boston, is billed as a way to address two social concerns: loneliness and sky high rent. An article in Cubed tells the story of a retired Boston educator who rents a room to an MIT, uh, MIT student from Greece. He's studying architecture, and uh, she lives in a historic part of Boston. So she was happy to show him the neighborhood. He bakes her some of his grandmother's Greek recipes. She makes him soul food, so there you go, friends for life, right? All right. Toronto has one of these student senior match programs, and one study estimates there are about 5 million empty bedrooms in Ontario alone. All right. There's one starting, oh, in, in the St. Louis area, and, and some students trade out several hours of chores, like mowing the lawn and stuff for, for the uh, I think that's rent. really cool. I mean, if you can find a, yeah, a compatibility factor, and uh -huh. I, that's, yeah, solves two problems. And I know you have, like, plenty of empty rooms and I understand that you have a new hot house that's going to be going up so maybe uh, yeah, exactly students, exactly get a few agronomy students I can't wait to tell my husband that you and him are building me a she shed it's going to be so much she fun. shed she shores by the she shores <laughs> it's going to be so days. fun okay, I can't right. wait yeah coming <laughs> up Janet is back from Krispy Kreme with our hot light delight don't go away Ozarks Live is just getting started. Let's go see Janet. Let's do.